that I chose. Um, Sorry. I grew up in a family that I chose. And um, before I came, you know, I'm going back and forth here in my remembrance. And before I came, I said, yeah, that's the family. I had a discussion, went into it. And um, the family that I came into had a lot of um, issues. You know, they were fighting and chaos, you know, but I chose that specifically for that reason because I felt like my soul could handle it. Mm -hmm. You know, and when we're in heaven, we're in the land of love, you know, that, oh, ah, ah, I'll bring my sparkling love there, you know, and you get here and you're like, whoa, <laughs> what was I thinking? Right. <laughs> So um, I went into this family, um, very Catholic oriented. I was schooled in Catholic studies my whole time I was there. However, my parents weren't practicing it. And as a oh. child, I knew um, intrinsically that um, this wasn't right. It didn't resonate with me. You know, I had not remembered my near death when, as a child, you know, my the spirit world as a child, but I knew the truth within, within me. Okay. It was something I always knew. So through my whole growing up period, I had to face a lot of traumatic experiences, um, physically, mentally, sexually, emotionally. And um, I forgot who I was because I got caught up in what was happening, um, yeah. you know, on the earth plane and I was just a child. So um, moving forward into my, um, you know, I left the family as fast as I could and I never read the Bible. I don't know anything about the Bible. I don't know anything about any manuscripts except okay. for what I learned when I went home. Okay. Nothing. So I went into my adult whole, adulthood uh, surviving, just like everybody on this earth is doing in survival mode. And I started working, 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 you know, having children and all of those things. The spirit world didn't come through because here I am having a human experience. Right. So we forget, you know, because we are given the power of forgetfulness. It's one of our strongest powers is to forget the strongest power is to forget Do you yes wanna, i think that's so interesting susan so so in forgetting talk a little bit about that how do you how forgetting do you will save you because mm -hmm. after some of my traumatic experiences as a child i honestly and i remember this i went into my bedroom and laid down and said i need to forget this so i can get up tomorrow morning uh right I have to, and then I would forget it, put it back, put it back to the way. Uh, and I kept suppressing, suppressing, suppressing all these things that were happening to me and I was experiencing and seeing as a child and said, okay, I can just, I just need to get through this. And I, that's how I handled it was by suppressing, which I think everyone does. Yes. Because as children, we're not allowed to say, hey, excuse me, I have feelings here and right. it was dangerous to have feelings in my household. Yeah. As a matter of fact, that's when all of my abilities started coming into play because I would have to walk into a room and sense danger. So that danger sense came naturally to me as I went out into the world as an adult. Sensing danger. Yeah. So, so, so you could, so when you want to talk about that, that, that gift uh, became something that when you, w that served you. It served me. Okay. All right. And it serves a lot of people, you know, some people come back from very traumatic accidents and experience and they're like, gosh, I don't remember anything about that accident. Yes. Right. Your own health and well being, you don't. Right. So you don't remember that. So you can function. Until I know your body can heal. And it's at the right time period for those things to come back. And yeah, that's interesting because you have in some of the, some of the, re, the way, the, the times we have talked, we've talked about you understanding and remembering in different time periods. Yes. I, I think that is so intense and so 
beautifully orchestrated at the same time that without that ability to, to come back in increments, our, our human mind couldn't really understand. Well, it would shatter you. Shatter you. Yeah, it would shatter you. I like, I like that. That is, that is what, <laughs> that is what it is, right? That's what would happen. And that's what happened to me. Mm -hmm. um, as I went into my adulthood, I'm working, working, working. Well, all of a sudden, all the anger and pain that had happened during my childhood started resurfacing. Mm -hmm. And I had kept it down really well. And I had a dark night of the soul for about two and a half years. And every day there was no light. And it kept getting mm -hmm. dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. And I said, I, I can't do this anymore because I didn't know how to remember those things and I didn't want to. Yeah. So here's my soul and my human body fighting this whole thing. And that is what depression was to me. It, me, my human body saying, you need to face this. And my soul, you know, my, my whole mind, my human mind is going, no. I can't, I can't face this. It'll shatter me. And do you believe that's still the definition of depression? Is that, 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 that dis, discongruence? Uh, no, it's part of it. It's part um, of it. To me, depression is uh, suppressing your feelings. Depression mm -hmm. is actually a teacher. If you're feeling depressed for more than a day, I mean, sure, we're going to go through and clear our feelings, but if it lasts for two weeks, you know, then there's something saying you need to, you need to address something. You're not addressing something. Right. You're not addressing something. That's, That's your body telling you. Right. Because we're in a human body and we're trying to navigate this earth. So um, what happened to me when I, uh, I posted on the near-death experience group, I said um, that I committed suicide. Mm -hmm. But when in fact what happened was I had planned my death. I was leaving. I was going to commit suicide. My full intention, I took my children on uh, their last vacation with me because I had nothing, nothing left to give. I didn't have anything to give to myself. I saw no light. There was no peace. And the second that I decided to leave, peace finally came into my life. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh my God, this is the first time I felt peace my whole time. So I took my children on a vacation to Franklin, North Carolina, where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was writing love letters to them, telling them that I'm sorry, I, I can't be this angry person all the time. I can't be in pain all the time. I can't be sad all the time because it's not serving you. And I'm not being your mother. Right. I was taking away. I wasn't adding to. And I saw myself being my parents. And I could not allow that to happen. That was like, oh, my God. You know, I came here to break a chain, but no, I'm not. Oh, like you were, like, so your, part of your journey was understanding that, that you were in such deep sadness and mourning for your own journey of what you expected to do. Yes. And when you came here, you were surviving and surviving. That, as everyone does, not just me. As everyone does. You're absolutely right. As everybody keeps trying to move forward and keeps trying to move forward. Right. And, and just and keep thinking, giving. okay, we got to do this, get them there, do that. You know, and right. I was a single parent with three children and um, working a 90 hour week. I was going <laughs> to say, you were also <laughs> working in a restaurant, right? You were, you were, you yeah, were running the manager, yes. restaurant. So you're managing the whole restaurant. Yeah. So, you know, there was many days that I would get down on my knees and say, please just get me through today. Mm -hmm. You know, like, everyone else does <laughs> i know it's not just me so i'm writing love letters to my children and i this is the emotional part um and as i'm writing them my body fell to the floor and my spirit left my body <sighs> excuse me no that's i it, i is... set up to what people call the void because there was nothing around me except for 
great peace. Mm. I was out. I was like out of my body. And, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm free? What's happening? So I shot up, I'm free. And, and you know, you're astounded by what's happening to you in that second. Yeah. Um, and I didn't know what to do, but my first thought was, is everyone going to be okay? And before I even had the opportunity for that thought to make a connection, there was a booming voice that resounded and reverberated throughout my energy field because I was all energy at this point uh -huh. saying very benevolently, everything is as it should be. And it unlocked a key of remembrance within me. At the same time, I'm like, oh my God, you're right, of course. And boom, I shot off. And I went. So hang on one second, Susan. I, I think what you just said and that part of your experience is so important for everyone to hear that that once you were out of your body and you were in the void, you heard literally everything is as it should be. And this benevolent, would you say a loving, encompassing everything? everything. It was everything, but more than anything, it was telling me. It was telling you, like, you listen, everything's <laughs> the way it's supposed to be, lady. And you know what it was doing? It was unlocking me from oh. being human. And then as soon as I, I heard it, I was like, oh my God, yes. And I knew that everything was as it should be, but I had forgotten. You had forgotten that everything was. Whereas we all have forgotten. Right, because we have that. Not just me. Not just you. Everybody has forgotten that. Everyone every that signed up and said, sure, I'll take my memory away. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's that gonna... was the process that turned the key when I heard those words, um, which was telepathic. Um, <sighs> my journey started, and I shot i'm gonna say shot but i was actually being f pulled through i felt my cord being pulled through universes and galaxies and i'm in wonder i'm in total amazement and wonder at what i'm seeing and i knew i was going home and i couldn't wait i was there's no words for it i mean it was beyond brilliant and loving and everything and uh, as I shot through I arrived home and there was a um, saint waiting for me Saint Barnabas and I didn't know it at the time because mm -hmm. um, but I looked at the being that was before me he was hiding his light uh, underneath a purple burlap tunic which everything that happens in a near-death experience is a message so i'm looking around you know experiencing all this and he's leading me into a cave Can and i, I into a couple of questions susan i know that i don't i don't because i think that this is so important and i love every bit of your experience and i don't want it um you you talked about the cord that could you, because I don't know if everybody knows what that is. And when you we're, um, we're always connected to a higher intelligence, mm -hmm. being higher intelligence. People call it God, the you know, I call it the God force because that's what I experienced with the God force. Um, you can call it whatever you want because it does not care. <laughs> <laughs> There is none of that. <laughs> there, there, no, no titles, no anything. I don't care. It's like, don't I care. love that. <laughs> so this God force begins to pull you out of where you're at, out of this void. Were you going backwards? Were you going forwards? Yeah. Were you upside I'm down? Going forwards, but I was being pulled by the cord. Pulled it's, that way. Right. But there really is no backwards or forwards because you really don't go anywhere. <laughs> It's right in front of you. This is heaven right here. That's that's amazing. That's amazing. 
It is amazing. But in your humanness and getting, you know, used to what's going on, it feels like you're, you know, you're flying, you know? And right. since then I have gone instantaneously. So that was all for my benefit. Okay. All right. So, and it, I got to see it in slow motion, you know, it was like, whoa, wait till everybody sees this. <laughs> Right. You're all going to want to die. <laughs> <laughs> if everybody could see the other side, everybody's going to want to die. Yeah. <laughs> so you get pulled and you un and you're and you are taken by these cloaked this cloaked saint that has a purple tunic all over. Could you see their face? Could you see their hands? What could you see yeah, of them? I, I can only see their energy, but they were keeping, he was keeping his energy cloaked from me. And um, as I went into the chamber, there were 12 other souls um, who also had the same um, garb on uh, that were keeping their energy cloaked from me because I have a very wondering, curious mind of who is that? <laughs> so if you they, are, know what, they know who I am, you know. <laughs> they know who you are, but the, like, this is your energy from her. Because <laughs> so then I would want to know who are you. <laughs> right. And this was the experience was for me because all of this is happening. There is no time. Okay. And it's happening very fast. And when you say they took you into a chamber, what did that chamber look like or feel like or what? And did you have a, a body back at this time or were you just energy you still? A spirit body. You know, everyone thinks, oh my gosh, am I going to go to dust? No, you're a spirit body. You have, and it can form in any which way, which I was even surprised. I was like, wow, they're going to lay my energy on a table? So they laid you on a table. Yes. So you're on a table. And how many people are around you? Well. 12 people. My soul group. And that's why they were keeping their energy away from me so that I wouldn't say, oh, my soul group. Right. <laughs> Let's have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so, because this is all very holy, you have to understand. This is all very, whoa. But it's more real than it is being in a human body. Right. So as I was laid on the table, they surrounded me and started what we would call Reiki healing. Ah. Putting, they were re-energizing me with their love. So you're on a putting table. Putting their hands over me and re-energizing me with my their love. This is my soul group. Wow. So I am like, whoa, you know, I'm amazed at the whole thing. You're in total, constant amazement. Right. And as they're, they start putting their hands and energy starts filling me back up, I thought I heard water. So the second that I even had that thought, before I even thought it, Boom, I'm at the river of life. Only part of me because my body is still on the table and I can see it. And I'm like, what is going on? So I go to the river of instantly. Instantly, instantly you had that. Instant. Everything gone. is very instantaneous. It's, it's, it's the creation of vibration. Mm. It's so amazing. And I, I hear water and I'm like, is that? boom river of life i've never seen the river of life that i know of <laughs> right <laughs> well everything was alive it was vibrating in complete joy and harmony dirt was alive everything was alive and dancing and it was singing the most beautiful songs of love that i had ever heard and i saw the river flowing full of all of the souls that wanted to float down the river and the music was dancing the colors were dancing i i was beyond amazed and thrilled and 
joy. So I put my hand in it and I became one with everything. And I was like, what? So all of these amazing things are happening as I'm looking at my body on, on the table. And I said, it's like angels are singing. Boom, a part of me went to the angels. And I'm standing around them going, what? Yeah. So wow. here I'm with the angels. I'm with the river of life. I'm on the table. And I'm blown away because the music is all of us singing. We're all notes. We're all music. We're all colors. We, as souls, are love singing. It was whew, beyond my imagination or ability to put it into words. So as I'm with the angels, I was like, is the universe singing? That was the thought, but I never got it out. Boom, I'm with the music of the spears. And I was like, what? And I'm witnessing everything being alive and vibrating and singing and how important we each are in the orchestra of love that sings to the earth and throughout the galaxies. That is heaven to me heaven wow you have said some amazing things that i'm just going to reflect back to you because i think that it's so deeply intense and i don't want you to lose it and i don't want everybody watching you're there's in more. <laughs> there's more right we're not even close to being done which is pretty <laughs> which i love that you have this you are on this table being filled up with love, have a thought and you're instantly into the, think you're, you're here and you're instantly in the river of life. And then you are instantly connected with everything, feeling and seeing all of the colors, everything alive. You could see dirt on the other side. You could see amazing like, small things and big things. And then you were in the spheres with the music of the spheres. Everything's alive. Everything is alive and it's unconditional, right? What does that feel like? I, I, I know you have no words for it. I know no. there's like, it's just. There are no words because you're in complete harmony and balance and you see, oh my God, we're all doing this together. I got to witness it. I'm a witness to this. I was blown away, but you know, I didn't even have time to think about that because there was no form. There was no, no form. Time. It's all happening at the same time. It was all happening at the same time. Oh, so hard to put into words. Very hard to put into words. Is it like, I'm wondering, is it like seeing 360 degrees of everything at once? I've heard it talked about okay. like that. I'm going to tell you is what it's like to me. Um, the best description I have is that as my energy was filling up on the table, it was dispersing wherever I thought. Okay. I could have gone anywhere. Okay. But these were just what happened to me in this near death experience. So in my travels on my holy trip, let's put it that way. Right. Um, so as I'm seeing the angels, the planets, the singing, the river of life, I'm on the table. My energy becomes full. I can see my body healing, my spirit body, my soul that had jumped off the earth. Right. I see it being healed and filled up. And the second that it was filled up, boom, I <laughs> merged with my higher self and all of me and all of the knowledge and wisdom and who I had been, all the pieces of my higher self me came into Susan's memory. Okay. 
and I be merged and I saw everything that I had ever seen before, all the lessons I had ever learned, and I started my life review. But I didn't just review this life, I reviewed all of them. I got to see them all. And I was beyond, there are no words, you know, for what I was experiencing, the all of me, this is all, of, oh my God, the thing that I saw. And I was different, There, you know, in spirit, we're genderless, we're androgynous, there's uh -huh. no, you know, so in different lives, I was a man, a woman, whatever, an alien. We're not just having experiences here. Um, so when my energy dispersed, I realized, oh my gosh, we're multifaceted, we're multi dimensional beings. Uh -huh. You know, I got to see who I really was, who we really are. And the power and the majesty of all of us. I was like, this is me? What was I ever afraid of? What was I ever afraid of? If this is me, how could I ever have been afraid? Because you forgot who you were. Yes. Wow. I'm going to ask you, did you see, did you, I, I know you had the saints and all this was happening at the same time. Did these, did a guide go with you to each place that you were going or did you just, you were there? You were under there. Okay. Instantaneous. Instantaneous. Thought. It's thought you can be 4,000 places at once, you know, you're, you're one with everything. Yeah. It's so hard to put into words because I've, I've had people post on, you know, some of my posts, well, gosh, I don't want to go up there and drink coffee. I, I'm an artist. I'm like, <laughs> oh, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be doing that. <laughs> you won't be doing that. <laughs> you will not be bored. <laughs> you will not be bored. There's infinite. Somebody is just saying we're, we are one of an infinite win, uh, oneness. We are one, I'm sure they meant one with an infinite oneness. We are creators creating. Creators creating an infinite oneness. Yes. Your vibration and frequency and what you are in this world, you are creating your life, which is creating it all. Your soul is a spark of the infinite spark. intelligence. You are a child of God. Yeah. You are a child of the God force, I will say, the because God that was a powerful, powerful force that I experienced that I was electric the whole time. I was totally electric, you know, and love it. And I'm feeling it now, you know, all everything is filling up with my fingers and going down my body because <laughs> I've asked um, all of my guides and my soul group to be with me today oh. to help me express myself without control by controlling my emotions <laughs> <laughs> i think you're doing an amazing job susan so uh, there you're 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 doing fantastic you're yeah I'm, I'm, i it's such a um i i love your story there's so much beauty in that and how you express your feelings around it it's um you're doing it was so exciting. It was so exciting that it's really, there are no words. You know, I'm attempting, I'm only attempting to tell you, right? you know, but I'm in a body, you know, I'm not free, even though I'm, a, you know, I'm able now to walk between both worlds, you know, right. as I'm sitting here talking to you, I can feel that power. Coming. There we go. Right. People right. always say, well, how do you connect? Open up. You have to face all of your everything, your emotions. You have to face it all. And I found out later, I'm going to interject here, that the process in which I died uh -huh. or left my body yeah. is what is known in human terms as surrendering. And what had happened to me was there was nothing left. There was no power left in the battery. Right. The battery was saying, I'm going, I'm leaving either way. So you can help me or not help me. Mm -hmm. And um, as soon as I said, I had written down the words, I can't be like this for my children. This is not working. Boom. That's when I hit the floor. 
and my spirit left. So it's people surrendering is a word, but it's also an action. Surrendering, surrendering is an action. Is an You're action. surrendering, uh, you know, my whole self surrendered to the pain. I surrendered to the pain. I did. And when you, when you, um, I, how did you experience when, when you were like, do you think that when you were filled up with love that you came back or how did, like, what, what do you think was a tipping point? What happened was as soon as I was filled up with love, I merged with my higher self. Oh, okay. Yes. Is always present in heaven or what I call home. Home. It's always there guiding you. You're always connect, connected to it through your erythrial cord that is invisible to human eyes. So you get filled up with love. You connect with your higher self. You do your life review, all your lives review. Are, are you at this point? In the Akashic records? Um, uh, yes. And what the Akashic records was to me uh -huh. was uh, I stepped into my experience. Okay. So every memory that I was happening, which was, whoa, they were all happening at once. I was reading books of who I was, but I was actually stepping into the moment of that book and I would see myself being that person wherever I was, you know, whether on earth in the earlier ages or mm -hmm. on another planet, I would see myself, but I would also be experiencing the emotions and the um, responses and the souls that wow. I was interacting with in these memories, but I only saw them, I only saw them from their place of soul growth. Not as human beings, I saw them all as divine souls that I was interacting with in every transaction. And I was like, oh my God. That is so oh intense what you God. just said. Yes, that is so intense. It's so important because a lot of people say, oh my gosh, I've done this or that. There are no sins. Yeah. You have done this or that. Well, let me tell you what, every second is a second chance. Oh my God, every I love that, Susan. Every second is a second chance. Can I write that I down? I'm writing that down right now. Hang on a second. Every <laughs> second is, every second is a second chance. Because you get to do it over and over and over again. I just love that. Well, not only that, but hey, you, you're having troubles with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whomever, you know, right now, whoever you're having problems with, you got the next second, <laughs> go change it if you're having problems. And that's the way I saw it. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this is so amazing. And this is Because I saw everyone's soul growth and why we came into each other's lives. I saw it all and I was like, oh, I'm seeing everyone from a divine being as a divine being in my interactions. There were no regrets. Nobody had any regrets. We were all learning. We were all teaching each other. So you Every saw... Every person that came into my life. Any I hope, life I, was I, hope I have my, my brain wrapped around this. I'm going to like, this is like, so, so you, this is, it's just beyond beautiful, beyond beautiful. You, during your life review and, and you were living in these, you would step into these lives and you would see them. You would see each, not as a person, but as a soul and a divine soul and how they were interacting in these spaces for their growth, not in a, oh, they sinned. They went to did that, da, 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 ba, 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 no, 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 no. no drama. There was absolutely no drama. And that's the best thing about going home. We all see each other for who we are. And I, I could care less what you did, but hello, if I could, if I want to learn from you, 
I step into your book. I step into your life book. Wow. It's merging. That's merging. You get to share the intelligence or the knowledge of another person. It's so much higher. It's so, so much, much harder higher. than what we're experiencing now, but I'm going to tell you, it will be coming to earth. We will be seeing each other that way. And now we're in a transitory period of recognizing and remembering who we are. We are in, I love this. I love what you're saying. I absolutely, lutely, 100% in every, and I want to, I'm going to talk a little bit about this because I'm just going to say a side note as a medium, because I work as a medium, I know this to be true. And I love the fact that you're here, Susan, and you're being so brave and so courageous to explain to everybody your experiences. Yeah. And because of it, you, you have this amazing capability that you've brought back to earth that I want to make sure that everybody watching this, whether it be on FaceTime, whether it be the recorded on Zoom that I'm going to post on YouTube or the recording that I give to Susan or whatever, that Susan, you can do high soul, high soul readings, right? Is that, I forgot what you called it. I'm sorry. I um, it's um i call it i call it because these are my words right. um a higher self guidance higher self guidance because i've already been there i was blown open by this experience um my powers that be came back to me not yeah. just for me i saw who i was i did, i have no judgment of anyone i see everyone as a divine being now i brought that gift back and you know that was a, a very hard gift to to come back with because I loved everyone when I got back and I knew that there were people I should not <laughs> stay away from. <laughs> That's a good point. How did you how did you navigate that? I mean, I, maybe we're me. jumping here. As long as you feel, yeah, we are jumping. Don't okay. jump because I will. <laughs> okay, I'll let's not jump. Let's go back. We're still not here. We're still not on this earth yet. You're you are in you are in life, you are reviewing life, you are stepping into them, you're understanding the divine growth and the joy that's coming in. So let's go back. <laughs> okay. So I'm experiencing all this and I'm seeing everybody as a divine being, which is the gift that came back with me and not mm. so much a gift, you know, <laughs> being <Yeah>. on earth. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you have to know that, okay, I need to learn how to translate this and incorporate it into my everyday life which took many years many right. many years earth years but there's no time in spirit so it's all happening at once right and as my energy i'm seeing everything i'm seeing my book of life i'm you know here i'm over there i'm everywhere all of a sudden all of my pieces my facets that were visiting these other places started coming back into me. Whoa. The Susan me, I was retrieving them or they were coming naturally because they knew it was time to go home. I don't know how. Uh, and all of a sudden I was whole me. Susan was whole again with my higher self. And then my higher self pushed me off. I went back with the angels. That was the last place I was. And the angel said, thank you for your courage and for your bravery for coming to earth at this time. Please tell everyone, tell everyone, Thank you to remember your greatness. That love is the answer to all things, always and always. And then I started going back into my body. Love <laughs> is always the answer to everything always always and then always i love that i love that always a l l space w a s yes. and always a l w a y s yes. 
That's beautiful. I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't want to just jump over the angels because I think that that's a pretty big. <laughs> Let's not jump over the angels because that's, the, I, I don't need to have, make jokes about them in the future. <laughs> Do not make like, jokes about them. <laughs> that, um, they were singing. They were singing. This song. Of course, I was in music the whole time, but that was the song that I was to bring back with me so that I would remember that no matter what. No matter what, that was the message that I was to give, keep giving to myself, to other people, and to everyone that I ever came in contact with. This is who you are. Remember. Remember who you are. Remember your greatness. And, and how did, how, like, when you, when you, when you're drifting off to sleep, are you hearing the angels sing? Um, I wake up writing. You wake up writing. You're writing. I'm writing what I'm hearing. <laughs> As so I wake up, I'm like, wait, grab a pen. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. You know, that's what I tell like everybody I talk to. You should have a journal right next to your bed so that you just start writing when you wake up because that's what you need to do because you need to write. Um, People call it automatic writing. Okay, that's uh-huh. a human term, but I'm going to tell you we all have that ability. Yes. Everything that I'm telling you, it's not just me. Right. The biggest thing that I learned um, during my trip home, which made the hugest impact on me, was that I had chosen this life. I got to remember that. I chose the life that I so desperately wanted out of me. You chose the life. I think, I I think that's super important to to talk about because um, part of the thing that I'm hearing, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, like I'm hearing that everybody that is in this experience is supposed to be here. Everybody, every experience that's happening, that's happening is the way it is supposed to happen. Everything is as it should be. Everything is as it should be. There are no wrong turns. There are no wrong turns ever. Yeah, it ever. might take you longer to get around the mountain, but the mountain's not going anywhere. So <laughs> what, one of the things I'm hearing from this is how important each individual soul on this life is. Oh my God, I saw it all in harmony. That wasn't my harmony. That was all of us. We are, you, we're a force. We're a force. It's a force. And even if we leave, our force is still there because really I, there is no way I could bring all of that back with me. I would, it would blow up this human body. And, and I think that's important to talk about too, because I have, I, you know what, I, I'm going to say this is kind of funny. If you may think so. I, one of the things that I love about talking with you, Susan, is, um, is everything that I've ever believed you're absolutely saying. Everything that I know to be true is coming out of your mouth. It's amazing to me as I sit here and listen and that it's so, my soul is so like, expanded and feeling amazing because I know you are speaking the truth. It is so yeah. soothing. And again, I know I'm going to sound, I'm, I'm imagine me just being an angel here. I love your courage and your bravery to be saying everything that you're saying. It's amazing. And the idea that we cannot bring all of our soul into this life, it's the, our higher self stays on the other side and brings a part here. Not only that, but we can't bring those memories with us because once I came back, it was very difficult to be on the earth. When you came back, it's very difficult. Do you want to talk about that? Oh yeah, and I had just left willingly. Uh, Right, you just (laughs) left. I'm going. (laughs) Willingly. (laughs) Willingly. 
And now you're back. Willingly. Willingly back. And now I'm back and I'm like, <laughs> how do I do this now? What am I supposed to do? Oh, well, this is the funny thing um, because what happened was once I came back to my, my body, I picked myself up and I'm like, what the hell? just happened to me mm -hmm. you know it was too much it was way too much and here i am vibrating and uh, electric with love and and uh, uh, a new purpose so thankfully everyone was still asleep in my house and i went down and i laid on the couch and as i'm laying there i just let it all sink in and still feeling all of the emotions of what just happened to me and i wanted to go run out down the street and tell everyone there's nothing to be afraid of we all have such a huge purpose here we all chose to come you know I, I, you know you have all of that excitement and the joy and the, but what happened was i laid there and i said now i'm gonna save this <laughs> i'm sorry say that one more time you're gonna what I'm gonna save I was us. like, now I know how to save Earth. Oh, I'm gonna save Earth. <laughs> I'm gonna save Earth. Oh, I love that. I love that. Now I'm gonna save the Earth. Ridiculous. <laughs> but that's what I felt. I was like, because I remembered who I was, you know. And I, now I need to go tell everybody else so we can save Earth. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as I said that, boom, I passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, that. I love that your body was like, okay, that's enough. We just go, go to sleep. <laughs> too much. <laughs> just too much. I can't take it. I just go to bed so that we can just no more. We don't. We cannot put the whole earth on our back and just hold it up. <laughs> I love that, Susan. That's so. Funny. It was ridiculous, but also <laughs> from my heart because I did. <laughs> I'm the earth saver. I'm the earth saver. Oh my god, that's so funny. I don't, that's really funny. Usually when there's like this giddy part, you know that this is when spirit is like really close because that's when spirit is like it's laughter and humor and happiness. It's uh, spirit is laughter is the highest vibration and that is the cosmic joke because I did come to help Mama Gaia. Right. As did you. As did all of us. But many have forgotten and many have just wiped it out of their memory banks completely and you know who they are. Right. They're just lost. And lost. you know what? We all have a sacred path and a sacred journey. We can't judge anyone. I'm not any higher than anyone else. I just got to remember. And the reason I got to remember is because obviously I have a big mouth. <laughs> They're like, use her. <laughs> She'll tell everybody. Let's get her. We got to get her. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. Hang on a second. We're going to go get Susan. <laughs> okay. And that's what we all said before coming because we're all guided judged not judged we're guided and de it's determined if we can handle earth because earth you know during the time period i came very tumultuous you know yeah. and getting better now but still we're in a you know shaky face yep. but we all said use me right I, I love how that it how how it is um how how we all chose this and and how beautiful that is and how amazing it is that we all like come have a lot of people have difficulty with this um uh, that thought you know why would I choose this well why would I choose to go into that family to right. break a chain to make a difference maybe i'm you know i'll screw it up which i did i made a lot of what humans call mistakes but in the higher perspective mm -hmm. they are lessons learned the hard way do you think and i'm just curious because i know that and do you think that all lessons have to be learned the hard way now
or do you think that that is no. shifting? Do you think that that now yes, that I mean shifting. because you yes. have been in this for thirty plus years, you have been a light worker bringing light and love into this world and paving ways for people to come. And how are, how do you see that shifting? Okay. The reason that I went through everything I went through and I chose the, uh, what I'm going to call it, tell everyone, I chose the full package deal. <laughs> I wanted to go, th- yeah, I wanted to experience everything. I'm an experiencer and I know it. I'm an adventurous person who mm-hmm. wants to see it all, feel it all, you know, experience it all. Well, in that package comes all of the uh, not so pretty things, what we call negative things that happen on earth, challenges and obstacles and people, you know, that don't treat us well. Right. And I too was one of them, you know, mm-hmm. I'm fully taking you know, responsibility for my whole life as we all do when we grow. Um, so, and I just lost my thought. <laughs> That's okay. No, no, no. We were talking about, we were talking about time actually like not having to learn everything the hard way. Now we're trying to like really bring this into. Okay. So yep. there's many right now. Uh, people on earth that have been through the same things about challenges that I have been through um, for a very good reason, because we can't step into another shoes. We cannot step into another person's experience unless we felt it too. Right. Unless we felt it too. We so are. That is the reason that wounded healers are wounded healers. Yeah. They're here to hold your hand and be there beside you, not take care of your life or save you. They're here to hold you and, you know, comfort and say, I've been there too. I know yeah. how you feel. And right now, everyone knows how everyone else feels. We're all going through this amazing time period on earth where we can, in our separateness, get together. In our separateness, get together. Absolutely, that's exactly what we're experiencing right now. And um, right. there's so much. I'm I'm just want to like share right now. There's just so much love in these comments that I'm that I'm seeing coming through as we're talking. And um, people are thanking you for your story, and that it's definitely helped them. And uh, just lots of uh, we are all extension of fractals of the divine. I just like just so much, so much thank thanking you for absolutely beautiful. Thank you. We're I don't feel like we're done. I don't feel complete. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that that those were coming in for you and that you were. I wasn't. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah, I just had really. That means, that means the world to me because um, I had to get past myself, and I'm going to tell everyone. Jenny asked me. Um, before we came on air, she said, you know, you can be behind, be behind a curtain if you want to. And I said, oh, no, <laughs> even if I wanted to, <laughs> I can't. Because <laughs> I'm asking everyone else to step out fearlessly. I'm asking everyone else to be themselves, be true to you. I know so many people that have had amazing experiences that keep it quiet because society does not honor that or we have been taught not to honor that not to honor that right so you came back you took a nap you were going to save the world <laughs> and now you knew <laughs> now you knew how to save earth i mean i guess not the world let's just talk let's just earth that's big enough as it is let's not go to the whole world <laughs> you go to earth <laughs> to save earth you're gonna save earth you go back to sleep and what happens next how does your life unfold what how do you begin to integrate these things within your within your susan body what happened was um i went through you know a recovery period um it was three days which is important and every time that i went to sleep or took a nap Uh uh-huh 
in my recovery because this was crazy, you know. I said taking woohoo, you know. Um, I went straight back instantaneously. Oh, there was no. I remember two times I got to see the stars in the galaxy again, and then after that, boom, I was back. So I was like practicing, remembering. Wait, wait, wait! You, you got go. you, you got to see the stars in the galaxy again. Again. <laughs> I was one with everything, so I saw it all. You know what? I think we jumped. I, we jumped. You know, kind of like we. I, I. We didn't want to jump over the angels, but we did. I want to make sure that we just do a quick jump back to say, "Oh wait, you heard the music of the spheres." That means you heard the music of the planets. I heard saw everything. I saw. The vibration of creation. The vibration of creation. Susan. I saw it all and it took my breath away. And the depths and the beauty and how powerful we are in soul spirit, not just me. Right. You know, I saw everyone i saw everything and i was like oh my god i've got to tell everyone just who they are just that has been the most important thing because there was no death there was exuberant life it was so amazing to me so amazing and i've had the same amazing experiences that keep reminding me while i'm on earth and in my recovery period, which took many years to integrate, mm -hmm. you know, how do you integrate unconditional love? You know, I was shot back into a human body that had been through a lot of trauma. So I knew the first thing that I had to do was face that trauma and um, reclaim the parts and the children that had fled from my soul while I was in human form. My three-year-old, my eight-year-old, and my 12-year-old pieces. Right. That when I walked through the door and said, no, I can't remember this. Ah, right. These, you can't remember so, uh, to, you know, to protect on my yourself. Journey, yes, I went to, um, my soul called to me, you need to go to a shaman because there, you know, during that time period on earth, you couldn't Google it. You couldn't, right. you know, they have dictionaries and those aren't even right. So. <laughs> it was like the yellow pages. Flip, flip, flip. Who do I call? <laughs> How do I find a shaman? And were you still in North Carolina at this time when you were trying to find a shaman? No, this was years later. Oh, years later. So, yeah. so, we're moving later. on years yes. later you're you're yes. you're continually so trying to, you know once i came back from my experience and um everything that had happened to me uh i still had to be a restaurant manager for 90 hours a week life right. didn't on earth didn't stop i still had to learn how to i knew i had to change because i had given my power away to so many people and i had to take it back I have to tell you, one of the things that is super important that just came in right from like a guide that said, this is the really, really, really important part about why one of the reasons why we're talking right now during COVID. And um, it is so interesting because your story is, is very similar to us. We're going to at some point get started and go back to life, whatever life looks like. And the change has to come internally with how we decide to treat. Ev that's Susan. Uh, my mind's a little bit blown right now because that's what just, yeah, my guides were like, you can't, you got to stop right here and talk about this. That's beautiful. It is because everything that happened to me, guess what? Will be happening to you too. That's right. As the veil thins 
and all the angels and the planets and the colors and the singing start coming through more and more, everyone else is going to be going, what? You know, yeah. Susan, I have, I have never said this to anybody. I don't think I've told anybody this, but when I was in, uh, I, I was in Colorado um, with my kids and I, I would put them in, I had twins and I would go into their room and I'd lay on the floor as they were going to sleep. And I looked up at the ceiling and everything just melted away. And it was just stars and, or, and I just, I always just, you know, like it was a vision, but one I'm hearing from you is it was way more than what I was giving it credit for. Yeah. Yeah. Not only that, but a lot of people say to me, um, well, I haven't had a near death experience and I always want to tell them, oh yes, you have everybody has everyone has i love that. walking on earth is a near-death experience right it is it is and not only that but you've done it more than once you just don't remember <laughs> you just don't remember it we're, we're no different i just remembered earlier so that i could come back and tell you it doesn't matter how you leave it doesn't matter. It makes no difference how you leave, whether it's suicide, what humans call, I call jumping off the planet, you know, their soul can't handle it. Um, whatever you call it, we all go home. We're I all equal. We all go home. We're all equal. And it's so, imp and I don't want to, I don't want to make the, um, I, I definitely want to, to say that, that every soul that is here is still needed. And like part of the work that you do is to make sure that they know how needed they are. Yes, a lot of people, what happens is, um, and now I see souls from their divine beings, everyone, you know, yeah. which is a huge gift because I've learned how to integrate that into my system without going, oh, you know, feeling their everything. Now I can just observe it and say, ah, this is where you're stuck. This, this is, is where you're looping. Why? Mm -hmm. Because I did. Uh. So I had to experience all of that. I had to grow into the person that I am today by facing all of those things. And if I could have had anyone take my hand and say, hey, this is where you're stuck, I would have joined the club right away. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you're stuck. Tell me where I'm stuck. Tell me where I'm stuck. Right? <laughs> and how did, so you went, you found, you, you looked through the dictionary or the, you found a, you found a shaman or you found a shaman, right? And that began to help integrate because we were there. And I want to make sure that we just talk about that because it's... Yes, my first shamanic experience, and there are many different types of shaman. Um, I'm a shaman. Yeah. Yeah, you're a shaman. We're shamans. Shaman. We're all shamans. We're all at different levels. We can all heal each other depending on what we focus on, what we're, you know, what are our goals? What do I want to do while I'm here? I want to help other people you know that's all i have left out of this life that's right. all i want is to help other people and serve it you know be of assistance in any way that i can you know i've done a lot of amazing things in my life but this tops it all this tops i love hearing that this tops it all this tops it all what would you what message would you give to a um a parent or a child that's lost somebody or um, what would you tell them about the other side that could, I, I know you've given a lot here today. I'm not, I, I, how, how would you approach them right now? What would you say to them about their, their loved ones that have crossed over? Um, that have gone home, that have gone home. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> what I would say is that, um, a lot of people mourn the loss of a loved one um, because they're not with them physically on earth. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you this, you're always together. You are always together because not all of you came here. Not all of them came here. And you're only seeing that part 
of that person. You're not seeing their whole magnificent being. Mm -hmm. You're only seeing the part that came to be with you during this time period to teach you a lesson. Right. To teach you who you are, to love you in a, a ways that you never imagined. You know, yeah, it's so powerful um, what we do for each other. You know, a lot of people say, but why would that person treat me this way? And I said, because I know why. When you were at home, you asked him to. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's hard. I think that's hard for people to really, um, to, yeah. to understand. And it is a part of like taking, um, it is, it is part of like taking full responsibility for right now. That's a big deal. That's a huge There are no enemies. There are no enemies. I always say that if if somebody actually could see each other using the spirit eyes, they would I mean they just would fall in love with their with everybody and they would never do anything to hurt a soul. It would be it would just true. be a love fest is what would yeah, That's true. It would be a big huge love fest which is coming. Which is where we're, we're treating each other with honor, trust, dignity. You know, we're treating each other as the divine beings we are, but still in human bodies. That's coming. We're evolving. This is making us evolve. That's the beauty of it all. Um, but also, discernment is key right now, especially during these times, as that we all chose to come. We have had to learn to be discerning because there are people that are out of control. Right. That I think that's so important to talk about because, because it is, because you said it actually even earlier when you came back that you saw everybody as divine beings and that wasn't necessarily safe. It wasn't has, safe. Yeah. That doesn't mean that you're running in fear. That means you're running yeah. in discernment. That means you're being, you're, you're deciding what is safe for you. Right. And a good way to do that is to observe. Don't wow. jump into something, you know, don't show up with all your, oh, I'll help you. No. Yeah. What are you doing? You know, self-protection, <laughs> which I never learned as a child, you know, I had to learn to protect myself because I was just giving myself away to whomever, you know, right. I was a doormat before I left, you know, and I came back and I had to take my power back from those that I had given it to, ah. you know, in a human way. I, it was always a nice way because I went from being a doormat to, Oh, well, I'll tell you who's in charge. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so right. I had to come back to the middle and, and that will happen. It's a pendulum swing. It's a pendulum. You know, come back to the middle. Sorry. <laughs> right. The Dow, right? That's it, it, Sorry, I gave that to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, human body. <laughs> I love that. That's beautiful. That's exactly right. I, I, I take it too seriously because when we hurt other people, because I've hurt people too, you know, you know, we just go get stuck in that moment of what the hell did I do? You know, <laughs> you know, and, and all these other human things take over, you know, right. and that's taking your power back and say, Hey, I'm bigger than this. You know, I can, this is something to teach me. Don't, don't focus, focus on what is, uh, you know, the suffering focus on what it's teaching you what it's Get I, I, it. allow it to teach you allow it to release because you're gonna cry you are you're gonna cry it out of your system and uh forgiveness is really about accepting yeah it's about accepting everyone as they are I love and we're not perfect yeah well, how could we be in this earth right i mean is there a way yeah. that we can well, you get, you know, you, here you are. Hey, I'll go to earth and do all these things. And then you're in a battlefield and you're like, what the heck is happening? And you become <laughs> all these different people to survive, you know, right? right? And you have to unlearn things. You know, that was the big part of me integrating was unlearning what I had been taught. 
that's really, really important what you just said. Like the unlearning. I mean, I know that they, you know, the more childlike you can be, the more the, the laughter, the, the, the energy and vibration that you're bringing in is just the higher it is, the better it is. Well, that's freedom. But I freedom. don't, you know, I used to take the freedom. book, I, I'll call you the book of past hurts okay. of what had happened to me as okay. a child. I used to take it down and read it every day. Oh. And I would start looping, looping, looping. Look what they did to me. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> the book of past hurts. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is just gorgeous, Susan. The book of, I would take the book of past hurts down and read it every day. <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> the book Guilty. of past hurts. Right. I've, I for sure have done all of that. The book of past hurts. Everybody does. We're and, human beings. Yep. But when we can close that book and close that chapter with accepting and forgiveness, of both for ourselves and for each other, then life moves forward. I love that. My namesake, Oprah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> my, name, my namesake, Oprah. She, what do you think? Her and Brene Brown had gotten together and they were talking as like, um, forgiveness, forgiveness is accepting the past, that it, it can't is. be any different than the way it is. And now, guess what? It's time to do. Write another book. Write another book. I love that. And I'm going to also integrate here, um, or put into this conversation, um, a lot of people say, oh gosh, the NSA is listening. I'm going to tell you, every thought, word, and action you do is being recorded. <laughs> I have seen it. <laughs> I, we live in glass houses. <laughs> that is so important. And we're not even talking about the NSA. We're talking about home. We're we like go back, to the other side, go back home. Okay. Whatever. I'm, I'm using earth stuff, you yeah. know, earth fears. Oh, they're listening. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't Everything. matter. <laughs> Everything. Every thought, every vibration, every moment every everything every interaction is recorded in the records yes in your soul records and they're sacred they are so sacred and you know everyone sees you for who you are however if you allow them to step in your experience because we've all been here we're like oh you went to earth too <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like contests on the other side like how long did you have to go into the chamber and heal like oh i was Here's there for a wonderful thing about leaving our human body because we're very attached here yeah. you know and i became unattached so i'm not attached to you know if a bus hits me tomorrow i'm good <laughs> i'm good so, not attached i will be happy for you i will be happy for you susan <laughs> thank you <laughs> Spirit in the sky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah spirit in the sky. <laughs> you better come say hi to me, though. <laughs> so life, human life is your opportunity. And let me tell you this. The sacred and holy ground is everywhere. I love that. <laughs> love that. It is. I saw it. It's every, everything. It's here on earth, right? Everything is a sacred moment. Everything. Every moment is a sacred moment that you're walking. It doesn't matter here, there, everywhere. It's all being recorded. What do you want to see? What do you want to write? It's up to you. I love that, Susan. That is just, that is you know, you take responsibility. I mean, I think that we could have like broken this up into three or four different interviews. We maybe should have. But, <laughs> but, you know, hindsight 2020. <laughs> <laughs> recorded. 
and recorded, so maybe we'll figure it out. Break it up. We'll break it up. But um, but one of the things that I, I I love is that that you can you you're responsible for your life and you can choose to write another story, write another chapter, be who you want to be. And every second is a second chance. It's a second, a moment that you can like change what you're deciding to vibrate and what you're deciding to create and how you're trying to be or. And, you know, and the most important thought on, you know, the most important thing on earth is to get a control of your thoughts. You master your thoughts and everything else falls into place. But you, you know, if you start diving down into the lower vibrational field, which is fear, anger, unexpressed emotions, anything that's blocking you, mm -hmm. you will start looping. Oh, this is happening. Did you see that video about China? Ah, and then you'll get on this looping. jumping. So let's look at the bigger picture. It, can I affect what happens in China right now? I can't. I have no power over that. Can I save anyone? No. And I'm not allowed to. You're not you, allowed to. That is so important to say. Like, you're not allowed to save them. No. If you're helping someone more than they're helping themselves, you're not helping them you're not helping them that's important because there's so many people here in this life i have done i've actually done this a lot in my life where i've right i've done this a lot where i'm like oh you can't do it for you i'll do it for you and 10 other things that you can't do i'll do them for you too <laughs> pick, me. You know, pick me i'll do and it even, all even today i have to stop myself and say wait a second <laughs> <laughs> not my issue. <laughs> yeah, not my issue. I can't jump on that rodeo. I can't jump on that horse. <laughs> and that's not attachment. You yeah. know, we can't be attached to um, the way someone else feels about it. Yes. That's their feelings. That's their growth. I'm in right. this. And, you know, everyone's on a different path. It's written just for you by you. You're right. on your path. What are you worried about that person for? You know? Right. It's not your concern. Do you see what I'm saying? So all of these things will trigger and teach you, what am I doing to myself? <laughs> right. <laughs> what am I doing to myself? <laughs> I love that. And then you get to make the choice in the next second to do a second chance every yeah. time. Wow. So you, um, I, I want to make sure that we talk about this. You do um, soul readings. Do you, you yes. want to talk a little bit about that? I want to make sure that, that, that we talk about that and, and how people can get a hold of you for that. Um, they can get me, you know, through Facebook Messenger. Okay. Uh, right now. I just came out of a six-year period where um, I have been working as a chef in mm -hmm. remote locations and working um, on um, research vessels at sea. So I haven't, you know, gotten all of those things together, you know, but I know that this is such an important time that I'm just now starting my practice of offering my services to others who feel like they may be stuck and yeah. they need soul growth. I don't read tea leaves. I don't, you know, everyone has their own unique, I love you that. know, and special abilities. Yep. My ability is, my ability is to step into your records with your permission because I don't do that without permission. And, um, read your full potentiality i love that. i see each soul's full potentiality and then i see where they're stuck if they want to achieve it because working in this area you do the work right i don't do the work each in by that i want to make sure that i say that again that each individual does the work yes right it's, so yes that's a that's so you help you get into their akashic records 
you get into their, do you, are you able to communicate with their, whole, their higher self? Yes. Okay. I hear their guidance. And what happens in a session with me, because I've been practicing for many years, just freely, mm -hmm. uh, is that, um, as I'm just having a normal conversation, like I am with you, right. Spirit will start coming in and say, stop, whoa, stop. Like they did with you. Right. And, right. Um, I start <laughs> Yeah, hearing, or um, it's very, it's to the person's soul, so each individual is unique. Uh. So on how it happens with me, but most of the time they'll start interrupting, and most times they'll scream, and I'm like, stop screaming. <laughs> 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 so I'm this, I'm like, stop. <laughs> you gotta stop screaming. <laughs> Screaming <laughs> in people's ears doesn't really work out that well. It's not a good and thing. A lot of times it will come through in funny things. Okay. That you, the higher self knows, but I don't know. And I'm just like, I'm saying, well, they're telling me to tell you this. <laughs> and then I realize that person's like, no. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very, you know, it's you talking to you. And what it is, I'm the channel. Right. That's all I am is the channel, you know, and to tell you what I'm hearing, that's it, you know. I, I don't have any attachment to the outcome. I can't. I was just going to say that. You, I was just going to say, <laughs> you have no attachment. You're just the channel giving whatever the message is. And it's, and sometimes I'm sure you get the message and it doesn't like make sense to you. It's not supposed to make sense to you. To me. Right. No, but it's always very divine. And when I give, I receive. That's the beauty of it. And when I see yes. the message for that person, I'm like, wow. <laughs> right? I'm blown away. I'm like, if you don't. <laughs> right. I totally got that message if you didn't get it. <laughs> it's absolutely what happened. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> it's really beautiful. It's a very beautiful thing. Yeah. You know, soul interaction and connection. Um, and I can do it over the phone. I can do it through Zoom. Depends on what the person wants or needs right. for themselves. I love that. So you have different modalities you can work, just like you said. And, we right. can, and, you, and you figure that out with the individual when they, when they connect with you on yes. Facebook Messenger. Okay. So right. I'll make sure that I connect. And I, and I know that I have, um, I'll be tagging you in all of these things. So... Um, yeah. So, so people can get a hold of you because as, uh, as working in the metaphysical, I would be a disservice to everybody if I, if I didn't explore all of these worlds for them. And this is so right. right. I mean, and, and this is the time of actually coming together with community and, and, you know, it's interesting cause I find this, um, Okay. So I don't know if you follow my, <laughs> I've been doing a, a mediumship daily since yeah. the, so one of the things that I was uh, breaking down this week was the um, movie Moana <laughs> and, and how the grandmother came in and I don't, you may or may not have seen the movie, but I, but I, but I was showing like how divine feminine is coming in and rising now yes. to, and, yes. and and what can you, do you want to speak to that a little bit about what you see with divine feminine or how you yes. see things? Yes. Okay. And that's why I am female right now. Right. Oh, that's why you are female right now. Yes. One of the reasons. One of the reasons. Yes. Because we are birthing a new world. And in this new world, it can't be like the old one where the men are in charge and um taking over because just because they're men no other right. reason you know and it's kept women in earth's history pounded down not making the same money you know having to endure sexual stuff that we don't want to mm -hmm. uh so right now the male form is seeing what they're doing mm -hmm. and the female part is saying i won't take that anymore yeah so the divine feminine in all of us is rising both in the male and the female because in all reality we're both we're both 
right. I love that. And it's not, and it is not, I just want to make sure that we say that because I, I love how you um, brought that all the way back around because the divine feminine is in the divine masculine as well. And it is a union between those two. And when it's in balance is when beauty actually happens. And that's yes. huge. Uh, just a small thing. A lot of men don't think it's okay to cry. Why not? Right. Because that's what you were taught. But that's something you came here to unlearn. unlearn. Through the birth of your child, how can you watch the birth of your child and not cry? Right. Because you were told not to, you were taught not to. Yep. Is that a reason? So you're to everyone is taking back their true power, not just the feminine. Right. Right. It's but also on the divine feminine side, we are also bringing our masculinity and right. our strength and our power into the divine feminine. So see how everything's woo balancing <laughs> out. It's so beautiful. I mean, so it's so beautiful to see with my eyes because I'm like, wow, everybody's changing. They're facing their fears. They're going, I can't control this. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't control this. Nope. nope. Mm -mm. Can't. You just can't. Don't cry. <laughs> Please don't cry. <laughs> you won't. It will not be good. <laughs> Save yourself a lot of problems. <laughs> Save yourself a lot of problems by understanding you just can't control it. Yes. And everything is as it should be. Yes. And there is no judgment. No judgment. No death. No death only life yes a different oh, one a different one because we're always evolving we're always evolving it's so beautiful it's i i, I there there i i think i could talk to you all night <laughs> long is what i think i could do i could just ask I'm your girl, <laughs> for my, I'm your girl. <laughs> I could just sit here and talk to you for hours and hours and hours and just stay live the whole night. Everybody, I think, would be coming in. They'd get a glass of water, maybe a glass of wine. They'd come back. They'd sit down. They'd just listen to us all night long. We're it. <laughs> We're it. Oh, my God. This is so funny. I I'm wondering what is, so I'm going to make sure that you're, you're absolute, um, you're going to be tagged and everything. I'm wondering, um, just as parting words to everybody, what, what would you like them? Oh, somebody just asked a question. I think this is so important. Annette just asked, is there hell? Is there hell? Is there hell? Well, I know that, um, in my earth experience, I did go through hell right. <laughs> many times, many times. <laughs> and I saw that I was creating it. Is it that crazy? You saw you With were creating my hell. own actions, you own. know, spiraling downwards, believing I'm not worthy, Believing I'm not this, I'm not that. Going down into the spiral of yuckiness is what I call it. Uh, and was it hell? Yes, it was. And for people who are potentially going through hell right now in their actions in their lives, what would you tell them about getting out of it? We cannot change anyone but ourselves. So beautiful. It's so simple. And if you want to be out of hell, then you, you know, every second is a second chance, but you're going to have to change your thoughts and you're going to have to want it to begin with, mm -hmm. not keep re-victimizing yourself right. because I know I did, you know, bringing the book of sorrows down. That's hell. That was hell. And I kept putting myself through it and putting myself, suppressing, suppressing. Right. 
Dark Night of the Soul for two and a half years. Right. Some people have it even longer, right? I mean, you, I'm sure you've come across that. You've, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've oh. seen it all. You've seen but it all. have I, it, shamanically, have I experienced? Yes, I have. And what happened to me in one of my travels, I went into a cave and um, there were crocodiles at the, the mouth of the cave and I picked them up and I threw them down and I was like, that's enough of that. And they all ran off. <laughs> I'm like, wow. <laughs> but this is my shamanic journey and I'm watching everything. This is really important message for everyone experiencing fear right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I go into, and there's a laboratory with this big, huge computer system and it's got all these wires attached to this a uh, tin cap and I'm like all right I'm ready for this well the the crocodiles were a warning oh which I had no idea so I'm thinking oh I got this all thing you know taken care of so I said that they were scientists but oh. actually it was my soul group and I knew that oh but they were scientists and they sat me down in the chair and they put this cap on my head and I saw everyone's horribleness that they ever had. And it started destroying me. And mm. I couldn't, I could not believe what I was seeing. It was swirling masses of fear and ugliness and hate and war and everything I'd never experienced in my life and I was like oh my god if I don't get out of here I'm in trouble you know so um I started not being able to breathe and I took the cap off slowly and I put it in the chair and I stood up and I looked at the other people who I didn't know was my soul group because this was a test you know uh -huh. and I saw all of it I saw hell of everyone's thoughts, words, and actions, I saw it. And um, I put it on the chair and I said, I'm sorry, I don't believe that. And I walked out the door and I was and like, wow. <laughs> that is what, so you saw earth and everybody's fears and thoughts and actions in an the earth. The most horrible things that have ever happened, I saw them all. You saw them all like smushed together in a big movie of horribleness and yuckiness uh -huh. and i was like uh, that's hell that's hell so but, she she re-asked the question i'm just gonna I, i'm just i know i'm pressing a little bit but she's saying she wants to know annette wants to know is there hell on the other side is there hell at home um at the vibration of creation no the vibration of creation Yes, once we leave the spirit world and we go into our soul selves, there is no lower vibration, none. There's no drama, there's no fear, there's nothing. There's but nothing but peace, harmony, unity, uh, love, and joy. Because the other vibrations would never survive there. The lower vibrations cannot survive in that vibration of creation. I think that's really important for people to hear. I want to say that again. The lower vibrations cannot survive in the vibration of creation. So Where thought becomes instantly manifested. Mm -hmm. That's why I say to everyone, master your thoughts now. Master your thoughts now. Because really, if you want to go to hell, you will. If your right. soul needs that experience to wake you up, then your soul will take you on that. Every soul has a holy script. So that's really, I think that's super important. And I don't want to like, I don't want to mess that. I don't, I don't, I definitely don't want to mess that up. I definitely, I'm not, I'm not about messing that message up because I think okay. <laughs> what you said is so important. It is a very big belief of mine is whatever you believe you're going to create, you are going to create. Or you have been creating. Or you have been creating. 
you're creating right now, watching us talking here, you're creating and seeing, like hopefully opening a, a new creation part in your mind where you're like, this is something else I can do differently. This next right. second I can choose again. Yes. That's beautiful. Yes. And then when you start going down that la la lane, which we all do, of, oh my gosh, that person doesn't like me. I suck. Whatever you're thinking, you can stop in that second and say, wait a minute, why am I attaching myself to this? Oh, <laughs> it's a I vibration. You, it is I need a you, vibration. I need you to come walk around with me in my day life and be like, hey, Jannie. <laughs> <laughs> things happen around me <laughs> <laughs> i bet they do <laughs> do you want to do you want to do you want to keep well you know we've been you know we've been talking for almost two hours that's pretty amazing i, I know i think like i like i said i could sit here and talk to you for hours i think you're just it, it's such a joy to have this oh, for me too danny for yeah. me too it's just really this has been really cathartic for me you know to be able to uh come out and be able to express things without losing my whole composure <laughs> i think you did absolutely amazing Susan. you uh, you are very uh, you're just you are such a bright because light because of you oh. it's a team project <laughs> <laughs> this is a team project. Everything is. Yes, everything is. It, everything is. It's all a collaboration. First we help ourselves, and then we're able to help each other. Yeah, we help ourselves, and we're able to help each other. And we're helping each other. Yeah, we are helping each other. I love that. I love that. Susan. never alone never experiencing doing i'm not doing anything alone ever i love that i do love that i mean it's true we are never ever 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 alone we're never i say that all the time i we're never surrounded, surrounded with great love that is pouring down on us and guess what you're up there doing it yep it truly is no up there it's all around us it's all around us like we could we could have heaven here or what we say heaven our home we can create it here which is what yes yeah my biggest goal is to bring earth to heaven <laughs> bring earth to heaven i love that not heaven to earth oh I'm heaven sorry. to earth i do like the other way too because it actually does I like that about one too. It. <laughs> they, they both work <laughs> they both. well it's all interconnected everything is you know people say well that's not what they have in this religion that religion these teaching that teachings i'm like don't you know it's all connected it's all the same intelligence you can grasp it yes there was no separation there is none there are yeah, I, the human mind cannot accept that it's so beautiful you are so beautiful thank you so you much oh it's just uh, like oceans and oceans of love to you susan oceans you too, of Danny. yes oceans of love to everybody everyone everyone, everyone everyone everywhere oh mwah. um i will be in contact with you very soon please make sure that you contact susan at susan red wine just exactly as it sounds r-e-d-w-i-n-e -E on facebook and you can message in her message her and she can set up a session with her it would be fantastic whatever happens happens whatever <laughs> happens happens have a wonderful night and thank you for spending right. the last couple hours with us <laughs> bye Bye. Bye.